Now, I don't recommend you follow such a diet, but it illustrates my point. If you want to lose fat, you must be in a calorie deficit. The thing is, however, that not all calorie deficits are created equal. Some can do more harm than good. And that's why, even after dedicated efforts, many calorie counters still don't lose fat and achieve their dream body. I'll explain why that's the case in a minute. Mistake number two, severe calorie restriction that gives you the metabolism of a 90-year-old lady. If an energy deficit of 250 calories a day will get you lean, a 1,000 calorie deficit will give you the results four times as fast, right? Wrong. Many people make this mistake, and I used to do it too, before I knew any better. The truth is, severe calorie deficits screw up your physiology. That's why almost all low-calorie dieters regain the lost pounds when they stop the program. Plus, most often gain some more on top of that. You see, your body doesn't know you're trying to get ripped for the beach. Instead, because you're starving yourself, it thinks you're stranded with no food. As a result, your body's metabolism will plummet to prevent you from losing weight. This means that as soon as you come off your diet, your body will store as much food as possible as fat to prepare itself for the next starvation. That's why it's essential to eat according to a calorie target fine-tuned for your body, your situation, and your goals. Mistake number three, thinking all calories are created equal. Thus far, we've looked at calories. And while calories are a crucial piece of the fat loss puzzle, they're in no way the only thing that matters. You see, when most people say they want to lose weight, they actually strive to improve their health and look better. The thing is, if you want to accomplish such feats, you shouldn't strive for weight loss. Instead, set your sights on fat loss. That's because losing weight doesn't necessarily improve health and appearance, but losing fat does. Now, when it comes to fat loss, calories remain a crucial element. But what is just as crucial is your macro intake. In other words, your consumption of protein, carbs, and fat is vital. How you set up your macros has a profound effect on how your body will respond to the meals you eat. For example, if you consume too many carbs, it'll be near impossible to lose fat, even if you maintain a calorie deficit. That's because carbs spike insulin, a hormone that blunts fat loss in two main ways. One of these is that elevated insulin levels block the release of fat from your fat cells. And if your cells can't release fat, your body can never burn off the excess. Second, elevated insulin levels cause the storage of energy found in your bloodstream to morph into body fat cells. This means the energy won't get burned off by tissues like muscle, but instead snakes its way around to places like your hips and abs. That's why researchers call insulin the fat storage hormone, and that's why 